So let's continue. We've just um, created an ISO. This is the content, this is the package list of that ISO. And it's called Arcmix B Pantheon. So the latest, newest uh, desktop that we have. So here's some information if you want to see 2.5 gigabytes. It is GNOME and Pantheon, right? They rely on each other like Budgie and Pantheon does as well. So if we have here a Pantheon already, I can choose the disk file that I've just created in the Arclinx B out. Here is Pantheon. And then we just start this up. I have to tell them to start up with the ISO. Okay, like so. So this is the, the, the grub thing, right? The UFI in this case, up, uh, well, giving choices. And you know the drill, um, this one is for open source drivers. This is the same, but new voice removed. Some laptops out there, some machines out there don't agree with the Nouveau driver. So we've got giving you an option there. And the same here for the NVIDIA proprietary driver without Nouveau because of the issues. And if all this not, does not work, you go to number five, right? And then you figure out, oh, I need to have something different and an NVIDIA uh, 340, 390, there are other drivers. In VirtualBox, in QMU, in all these uh, virtual machines, of line number one will do just fine. So, previous video was how to build an Arclinx B ISO, and we've added Vivaldi and Chromium to it. And then afterwards, you've got an ISO, and then you build that you, you install it in, in something real metal or like this first, test it out, and you say, This is the ISO I'm going to keep around because this is what I want. As usual, Calamaris will be there to even broaden your selection. But what you've put on the ISO is what you'll get. That's why I always say, what you see is what you get, right? You've made decisions to add that beef, it's on there. You've made decisions to install Vivaldi and Chromium, it's going to be on there because you selected it and Chromium we miss that guy up here. So what you see is what you get. But like I said, either you choose a simple or the easy installation or you go for the advanced installation. And with the advanced installation comes a lot more choices. First of all, your language, right? Portuguese, no, back to American English, where are you? Okay, next. Choices about kernels, we're all gonna skip these things, right? It's, it's still a lot of possibilities. And here is your Pantheon. And all that it requires is basically this one. You don't have to select this one. It is already there. What you see is what you get. But for instance, if you say, I would like to have um, i3 together with Pantheon. So I switch around, fine. Just click this or decide even more. I'm not a fan of Rofi, not at all. Done. Rofi is not installed. So it is freedom. That's what we like to give you with all these options. And you decide whether you want things or not. Lots of information, lots of extra packages. I'll just go to the very end. This is something I would select on a machine. This is what I need as a developer or the beta testers to make some video or chat with each other and so on and so on. Next, living in Brussels, quite correct. Well, more or less next. And that's it for me. Decision time was when we built the ISO. I want Vivaldi, I want Chromium, I want Dead Beef. That's my decision time. But you can do so now as well in during the installation of Calamaris. Let's pause the video here again. We're almost done. And it's time to reboot and enjoy, basically. So first of all, test everything out in a virtual machine, whatever virtual machine you uh, you want, right? Choice, 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 Linux, freedom. And then, um, then later on, you can install it on Metal. So this will be your look. 
this is definitely a pop-up from the guys from uh, the system pantheon right i rather like a dark look like this you decide and there's something in between that's not shown there maybe red i've never changed the color if that is indeed red this is more red i think and that's more pink even though it might be orange as well <laughs> alpha just choose don't want to see this again quit and this is your system then is vivaldi installed oh yes it is and then you just say continue continue and off you go with your continue again and continue and continue oh you could have blocked things there Alpha, you know what to do with these things and then we can have a look at the other guys what did we install as well kill do not show thank you that beef is something we've done this is a very small application to play your um, well files your local files actually design it as well certainly tutorials about that and chromium is also a decision we take we took and said okay we want to have that as well on our system fine so it is so there you go guys you've got yourself a terminal new fetch you've got yourself a pantheon mother gala system and you can play around with it again if you don't like it um, it's again easily to be re removed right or um, Arclinx desktop treasure delete it and install i3 bspwm you can play around with it certainly on a virtual machine it doesn't really matter you just play and learn and then break things and reinstall all good but learn and have fun learning cheers <laughs>